uh, Columbia Man will be back vlogging starting right now. Um, this is the beginning of the 2013 haunt season for me. Uh, the holidays are done, you know, Christmas, New Year's, all that good stuff. Uh, work is kind of in a rhythm now. Uh, I picked up two more locations, so I'm now managing three uh, hotels, which is, you know, a little busy, but you know what, I'll still find time to haunt um, and, and get everything done. So, uh, you know, there's big plans going on for, for 2013, so pretty soon with the vlogs as we come, um, I'll be going over plans, you know, designs. Uh, new building stuff and, and just kind of all, all kinds of great things uh, that should be happening for this haunt season. Um, so what this vlog is about is about haunt cameras and haunt recording. Um, I wasn't very pleased with the recordings I had in uh, the last you know haunt season. Um, you know you guys saw the one scare video that I do have up and that was actually shot with an old Hi8 Sony uh, video camera. So it was recorded on the tape and then what I do is I take this, uh, this dazzle unit uh, patch my video right in USB. It converts it to digital, and and I put it right in the computer, and then I can edit from there. Actually, I just actually I just edited it right straight from the camera. So I just watched on the camera what I wanted, took the shots off I wanted, recorded those only instead of one big file, and then re-editing. I just edited it right off the tape. So it was actually pretty quick. Um, so, anyways, what I used for those cameras were a couple uh, handheld cameras. You know, like a, I have a Toshiba and a, and, a, and a little Sony vloggy that I don't like. So I like this Samsung that I'm using right now. Um, it just gives me the best quality. It's waterproof. It's a newer one. I just, I just really like it. Um, for recording, they sucked straight up. They sucked. Um, the, I recorded the the uh, study with the drop panel, and that came out kind of dark. I might be able to salvage some footage and do a little scare video, um, but but it just it just didn't work out the whole night. Uh, and then my other one, I used a Toshiba out in the scare hallway with the slider, my uh, clown side slider, and. It was just too dark too. It just didn't come out very well. So plus the angle kind of sucked. It was a rough angle, and it was kind of one of those last minute throw the camera out there the night before thing. And I didn't really test it um, in the dark. I tested it in the in the light, so it looked okay. And then once it got dark, it just it, it was crap. So couldn't use it. Um, so anyways, uh, when I was cleaning out the garage and put some hot stuff away, I came across uh, this old box. Okay, so this is a box for a, a Samsung SCD103. This is a camera that I had, and the manufacture date is uh, 2004. So it's, you know, eight years old. Um, but I remember I really liked it, and I remember it had a night shot. Um, so, you know, the Sony Handycams, they have the night shot. Uh, I remember that one that used to, like, do x-ray vision or something. That was, you know, a big thing on the news where people were looking through people's clothes and chicks' bras and stuff like that. Um, I don't even know what model it was. I never found it. Uh, but this one... Does have um, it does have a night shot. So this is the Samsung SCD103. Uh, now this camera, I, it's not the original one that I had, um, but I found that box. I remembered about it, so I looked on eBay and uh, checked out eBay, and I was able to buy two. So I have two of these, um, and both of them I got for under thirty dollars, um, which is really good. The only problem is they record on a mini DV, and they do have a memory stick uh, slot. The old memory stick, um, remember the long skinny ones. Um, but what I found to be the issue with this memory stick is the recording format is an MP4 format. But I think it's such an older one that a lot of the new stuff can't read the codex. So I'm able to get some uh, some video but no audio. So I don't know if that's just something I got to work out and find the correct codex or a correct media player. I've tried VLC, Windows Media, the old Windows Media player, DivX player. None of them seem to like to want to play them um, besides the old Windows Media player. Um, so I don't know if that's an old memory stick thing, and this might be hard to find too. I found them on eBay, but I'm too afraid to buy them because I can find the memory stick Pro Duo, but I think that's the newer version of this. I think this is like the very first memory stick made, and these ones are a little bit harder to find. Um, but I do have a lot of mini DV tapes actually still. Um, so recording on a mini DV and then using the Dazzle to edit is going to be just fine for me. So um, I'm going to go with this option because I want to record in higher video onto the tape and I could just switch the tape out if I need to. Or I can record onto here and then I could hit the power on the tape too and just record on both of them at the same time of the night. Because the tape I'll probably get about an hour on each tape, which means I'll have to switch it, you know, three, four times depending on how long we go with the haunt. So, um, oh, the other thing is this lens. So this lens I actually found separately on eBay. So it's a widescreen lens um, and it does give me um, a, a much wider shot. You'll see that when I put this up and record. I'm going to put this camera in the same spot this is. I'm not going to move the tripod, um, but it's pretty simple. It came separate in a little bag. Um, it was like 20 bucks on eBay, and it just screws right in um, and then gives you a much wider shot for your, for your shot. 
question mark? Yeah, that was clever, right? Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over and test the video, show you guys what it looks like, and then I'll come back and I'll close it out after that. Okay, so here is the test mode with the, uh, the night vision camera shot that this Samsung has. And uh, the, the little screen does flip around so I can see myself right now. Um, and I can see that the uh, dimensions I'm getting uh, with the widescreen lens uh, is definitely a lot more than what we got with the Samsung, uh, just my little, my little handheld. So this is the one that I use for everyday recording. It's a Samsung, I don't know, W300. It's you know fully 1080p HD and it's actually waterproof too, which is pretty cool. Um, but this is the one I use, and so you can see that in the same exact spot that this camera is with that lens, I got a much wider range, and I'm sitting roughly mm, three feet away from the camera. So pretty good wide shot for being only three feet away. Um, so you know, if I want to put that somewhere where I'm looking down a hall or whatnot, uh, it should be able to give me a pretty good image. So, um, so yeah, so here's the test shot, and yeah, so I'm going to switch back to the other camera and close out the video. Okay, so there's the test. Um, I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, keep in mind, I did have only two party bulbs on. I had one over here, one over here, hitting the uh, ceiling. So it came out pretty well for just the two lights being on. And that's typically just the amount of light I'll have in, a, in any given room. I'll have you know a couple party bulbs just kind of glowing the area. Um, and you guys saw actually with the Haunt video that I used with that Sony camera, the Hi8 one, um, there were no lights out there. There was there was really no lights. There was one, yeah, there were no lights in that area. The lights were all on the front side, and then once you got into the room, so that was just going off of the moonlight, and that came out pretty well. But that is you know a Sony night shot. This is the Samsung one, so it's not as good a, of a brightness and that green that you get in that Sony shot, but it's just as good, and it, it looked pretty good at least to me, I think. Um, and we'll see. I'll keep testing it, see how it looks. Uh, I think this lens is going to help for the haunt, so we can get a wider area. You know, our haunts, I mean, our rooms are usually typically around 8x8, 10x10 in most haunts. Um, so, you know, to be able to get a, a much wider shot with this with this uh, lens should help out with the rooms that I'm going to put them in. So, and like I said, I don't have ideas for rooms yet. Um, I do know I want to go, well, I don't want to go. My son wants me to go, so I'm going to go that way. But um, he wants to go with a carnival clown theme. He really likes that. So I think this will probably be his last year acting in it. He's a freshman. He's kind of getting to that I'm too cool kind of phase. So um, we'll see what happens. But this year, because he wants to do a, a clown theme, I'm going to have to turn Columbia Manor into a clown theme manor and, and go that route. So it should be cool. So, um, yeah, I mean, this, this video was about the cameras. Uh, like I said, I didn't like the other two cameras, the way they recorded in the two zones. I did get the one good video. Um, and you guys saw that video, the scare video, that was like the last video I put up, I think. And um, so, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at ways to improve. And this was my biggest thing about this year's haunt. I thought the 2012 haunt went really, really good. And I want this year's to be much better. And, and I want to get footage because um, that was a big disappointment for me this year was the footage that I got. I was just, I was just upset and what, not happy. So hopefully this will help. So if you guys want to check it out, check them on eBay, uh, the Samsung SCD-103. I've got two, and I purchased another one. The other one's on the way. So I've got three, so I can go ahead and tell you guys about the camera now. You guys could buy them if you want. Um, I was a little selfish. I didn't want to tell anybody yet what I was doing. But, um, yeah, so hopefully the camera will be cool. And, uh, you know, at starting now, like I said, haunt season starts. So planning, building, more vlogs, all that's coming. Um, so keep an eye out. Make sure you go to the Facebook uh, Columbia Manor page like that. Um, and lastly... There's only been a couple people that have posted pictures from the 2013 haunt um, that were visitors of, of the haunt. And, and I would like to see uh, any viewers or any of the subscribers that are out there, if you have pictures or you posted pictures uh, of Columbia Manor on Halloween night, if you could go back and tag Columbia Manor so we can see those pictures. Um, a couple of you guys did that, which is awesome, and I love seeing those photos. Um, and I'd love to see more. So if you took photos and, didn't, and you posted them on Facebook but you didn't tag Columbia Manor, Please go back and tag Columbia Manor so that way everybody can enjoy those photos. I would love to see them. I was running around on Halloween night and the Saturday night that we ran the haunt, so I didn't get a chance to do any of that kind of stuff. I didn't get a chance for photos. Um, you know, I was just real busy. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. Okay, so lots to come this year, guys. Um, planning starts today. Haunt season is officially underway for me. So I will catch you guys soon.